Okay, so we're not going to use our SketchUp, so let's go and close it now. And let's proceed in adding the calculation surfaces in our Dialux software. So, everything ground, we need to add uh, calculation surfaces and we need to label it properly also in the fairway and also on the vertical. So, this is one of the most important because you need to properly label and adjust your calculation surfaces. So, go to this um, object tab and then go to the calculation grid and uh, okay we need to plan it properly because the calculation report should should be properly arranged so for this for example t1 t2 t3 t4 and then fairway vertical and horizontal and then patting green so the report will be organized okay so let's start with the t in ground so let's go for the t1 just click on this one and then uh, drag and drop okay so make sure that it touch the object because it will go directly to the top of the object it's not on the bottom it's already on the top of the object so we don't need to adjust it later on next is this one and then here and then another one here and then if you can imagine that we have two Okay, let's open the layers here okay so i'll show you that we have uh, the fairway is we have an elbow here so we have one fairway here and also another one here okay so we will ha we we're going to have two fairways because you cannot shot in uh, you cannot do a one shot from t1 to the patting green maybe yes but the intention of the design of the golf this golf course is First is you throw, uh, you hit the ball and place it here in the middle of this circle or on this area and then from this area to the patting green. So if the golfer is really good, then maybe he can go directly to the patting green. Because sometimes because of the distance of the fairway, uh, some golfers really cannot do in one shot. Okay, so let's go and add the fairway now so the first fairway is here so i'll just go and do it here and then another one is here there you go and the last one is on the patting green perfect all right so um now we placed our calculation surfaces it's time to label it properly okay let's just save it this one first save and then I'll save it in my desktop and say golf course sample project. And you can have this file. Just go and download it to the additional resources, including the CAD file. Okay. Um, so let's go now and label it. So what we're going to do is we can now uh, turn off this 3D file so it will not be confusing when we view it on the plan view. Okay, so just right click and hide or selection hidden so yes our 3d file now is hidden and we can now work properly in our calculation surfaces so first is go to this project uh, tab and then let's click on this one so this is the first one highlighted and then we will label this one as hole 2 t1 because later on you will have hole 1 T1, hole 3 T1. So let's add hole 2 T1. Okay, I'm just going to copy this one, control C, and then select this one, control V, and then I'll make it T2, and then this one, T3, and this one is going to be fair uh, hole 2 fairway. Fairway 1. And then I'll just copy it and then click on here and then fairway 2 and then this one will be the putting green okay so it will be here putting green all right so after you label it or uh, after you label everything those calculation calculation grids so t1 t2 t3 t4 fairway 1 we will adjust it later fairway 2 and putting green so let's go for the whole uh, for the t1 first so go to the geometry so that is fine 
we can adjust it now if we want so just adjust it like this right click and then rotate yep and then calculation grid go to this distance and make sure it's one by one okay because it's very important for the team ground to have a very good overall uniformity okay and then go to the measuring and then calculation this is horizontal click this one and unclick on the perpendicular gradients display and then display values real-time horizontal okay and then right click and then convert it for editing and then delete all those excess uh, points so you need to make sure that you uh, set the grid distance first before you edit it because once you uh, edit it you cannot adjust the grid uh, distance already all right so now we have the first calculation grid the t1 let's proceed now to the t2 and then rotate and then adjust okay and then let's go and uh, real-time calculation horizontal press the horizontal and check the perpendicular and then distance is one by one and there you go so let's go now and edit it right click and then convert for editing oops undo select right click edit grids Okay, just remove those points outside uh, the oblong or the patting or the teeing ground. And then click on the whole two and then adjust it according similar to the T1 and T2. So let's go now to the fairway. You can uh, do it on yourself later on. So adjust it and then rotate. And I think we need to open now this... Um, remember this one uh, the safety buffer zone because from here this is our guideline where we will put our fairway calculation grids so go to the view and then uh, show this dwg and then go to the layer and open this buffer zone there you go so you can see those um, cyan or uh, green colors that is our guidelines and maybe we can also open this line, the black one, because this is going to be the center of our calculation grid. So that layer is called uh, center line. So let's open the center line. Okay, so this is the center line and we will put our calculation grid for a fairway in this center line. And then we will adjust it here and up to here. So make sure that this one is in line with this line from the circle. So let's go and rotate it. And then rotate it according to this line. Maybe we can adjust it from here. Say 31 degrees. There you go. And then adjust it like that. And also here. So from this one, I will make sure that this uh, the width of this calculation grid is 30 meters. And then I'll make this one as precise. So I'll leave it as 40, 143. And then I'll go now to this calculation grid. So for the fairway, we need to make sure that it's 5 by 5 grid distance. So press 5 by 5. Measuring, calculation. And this time we need to check this vertical also. And then uncheck the perpendicular. And for the vertical, you need to add this one as 5 meters. So the height of the vertical should be 5. So there will be two calculation uh, results in this fairway. One is the horizontal and the other one is the vertical. And you can select on those display values whether you want to see the real time in horizontal or in perpendicular. So if you select the vertical, Oh, sorry horizontal and vertical and if you select the vertical look what will happen see those arrows it should be pointing towards the teeing area 
So if you do that, go to this rotation and adjust it, say 15%, 335, or 330. Okay, it looks like it's 330 degrees. Okay, so let's just make it 330 degrees. So once you make this uh, points looking on the thin ground, you need to adjust also this one here. So it's 330 degrees. Okay, so we now have two calculation reports here. And you can see at the bottom, yeah, here, the, the, the calculation report will automatically update it here in this pink color. Once, you add, once we add the floodlight later, you can see that this one will be updated in real time. Okay, so let's adjust the other fairway here. And then uh, expand it. And then rotate. And move it here. Okay, let's make it 21 degrees. 19 Okay, this is 19. Okay, and then adjust it here. Yep, up to this spotting green. And again, let's make this one as 30 meters uh, width. Yep, and then calculation, this one is supposed to be 5 by 5. Okay, and then horizontal and vertical again. And then uh, display, yes. And the real time should be horizontal or either vertical. And then if I want to see it in vertical, I need to adjust the degree here, maybe five. Okay, 19 degrees. Okay, so this is 19 degrees. And yeah, all right. So our fairway is now ready. Let's go now. Up. Oh, hold on. This one, uh, since we don't have a fairway here, in this area because you see this green is cut now from this side so we can we can either um, disable the horizontal for this one or yeah or we can just keep it like horizontal and vertical also anyways and then this one so let's go and uh, adjust this patting green calculation grids put it in the center right click and then rotate And then adjust. Okay, we need to make sure that it covers everything. Okay, and then we need to make sure that this is two by two spacing calculation points. If if fairway is five point five and thin ground is one by one, putting green is two by two two by two meters measuring grid. And then this one is only horizontal, like thin ground. And then display on real-time horizontal. And it should be on zero. Okay, so every time there will be changes on the floodlight, floodlight location and type, this real-time will be also adjusted. Okay, so just continue on this one thin ground. And uh, the next topic will be adding the poles. Alright, so see you again on the next lecture.